heard about this card. It's a uh, e or PCI Express based uh, solid state storage. Right, right, right. So it actually sits on the system bus, just yeah. like RAM. So you've got your north bridge and your south bridge. Yeah. We sit on the uh, other side of memory. Yeah. On the same bus as the CPU. So we're as close to the CPU as you can get. We call this a new memory tier, yeah. right? And the reason why is uh, some of you, some of your uh, 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 listeners, some of your uh, viewers may know what L1, L2, L3 cache yeah. is. Extremely fast, right? Yeah, it goes exactly. inside the CPU. You know, you can't even put it out on the memory bus. It's got to be right inside the CPU. Yeah, exactly. And then you go to RAM. What's crazy is then you go from RAM all the way to hard disk drives. Right? There's this huge performance gap. It's like a, yeah. a, a, a gap of about a million. Right? Literally in performance. Yeah. So we put this new memory tier that has capacities like disk, but performance closer to RAM. Yeah. And it's non-volatile. So now you go L1, L2, L3 cache, you go uh, uh, RAM, then you go this new memory tier we call uh, IO memory, yeah. and then you go to disk drives. And what's crazy is this technology was actually designed for supercomputers. So government uh, uh, labs like Lawrence Livermore, Sandia, uh, and ultimately this was, I guess, designing weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've taken that technology and it's uh, basically letting you uh, destroy things with weapons of mass destruction in virtual worlds. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, Gears of War, Halo, whatever. So we're releasing this thing in July. Yeah. We announced it back in October. We're releasing it in July. And uh, uh, list price is $8.95. And sometime today, when you see some of the shootouts going, you'll see like a ton of videos. Yeah. Like several hundred videos running at the same time the video games are running. What's going on is all those videos are running from one IO Extreme. Ah, yes. And they're, and they're, they're raw uh, uh, files that you would take straight from a DVD. Yeah. And unencoded, unencrypted, they're just raw DVD files. Oh, and nice. even though we're running you know, several hundred all at the same time, the card has enough bandwidth to do that play a game, and if you wanted to, chat an IM screen, work on Photoshop, and render a movie. Oh, wow. That's what happens when you have this kind of performance. Cool. And what does it mean for the future? It means that uh, folks that are designing, uh, say, games, yeah. you know where there's load times, and you're like, you have to wait for the load bar? Yeah. Well, now you wouldn't have to. When storage is that fast, you can actually walk into the next level with zero load time. Oh, yeah, yeah. They would just pull the content straight from storage right into, uh, you know, post memory. Yep. Or right into the graphics card off the PCI Express bus. So literally, uh, games like World of Warcraft and, 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 and games that are massive, the worlds could seem seamless and you could walk from level to level with no load time. Nice.